The first United States Congress, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives, met from March 4, 1789, to March 4, 1791, during the first two years of George Washington's presidency, first at Federal Hall in New York City and later at Congress Hall in Philadelphia. With the initial meeting of the first Congress, the United States federal government officially began operations under the new and current frame of government established by the 1787 Constitution. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the provisions of Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3 of the Constitution. Both chambers had a pro-administration majority. Twelve Articles of Amendment to the Constitution were passed by this Congress and sent to the states for ratification, the ten ratified as additions to the Constitution on December 15, 1791, are collectively known as the Bill of Rights. Major events April 1, 1789, House of Representatives first achieved a quorum and elected its officers April 6, 1789, Senate first achieved a quorum and elected its officers. April 6, 1789, the House and Senate, meeting in joint session, counted the Electoral College ballots, then certified that George Washington had been unanimously elected President of the United States and John Adams having received 34 of 69 votes was elected as Vice President. April 30, 1789, George Washington was inaugurated as the nation's first President at Federal Hall in New York City. January 8, 1790, President Washington gave the first State of the Union Address June 20, 1790, Compromise of 1790, James Madison agreed to not be «strenuous» in opposition to the assumption of state debts by the federal government, Alexander Hamilton agreed to support a national capital site above the Potomac River. <laughs> Major legislation Topic. Session 1 Held March 4, 1789, through September 29, 1789, at Federal Hall in New York City June 1, 1789, an act to regulate the time and manner of administering certain oaths, ch. 1, 1 Stat. 23 July 4, 1789, Tariff of 1789, ch. 2, 1 Stat. 24 July 27, 1789, United States Department of State was established, originally named the Department of Foreign Affairs, ch. 4, 1 Stat. 28. July 31, 1789, Regulation of the Collection of Duties on Tonnage and Merchandise, ch. 5, 1 Stat. 29, which established the United States Customs Service and its ports of entry. August 7, 1789, Department of War was established, ch. 7, 1 Stat. 49. September 2, 1789, United States Department of the Treasury was established, ch. 12, 1 Stat. 65. September 24, 1789, Judiciary Act of 1789, ch. 20, 1 Stat. 73, which established the Federal Judiciary and the Office of Attorney General. Session 2 Held January 4, 1790, through August 12, 1790, at Federal Hall in New York City March 1, 1790, made provisions for the first census, ch. 2, 1 Stat. 101 March 26, 1790, Naturalization Act of 1790, ch. 3, 1 Stat. 103 April 10, 1790, Patent Act of 1790, ch. 7, 1 Stat. 109 April 30, 1790, Crimes Act of 1790, ch. 9, 1 Stat. 112 May 31, 1790, Copyright Act of 1790, ch. 15, 1 Stat. 124 July 16, 1790, Residence Act, ch. 28, 1 Stat. 130, established Washington, D.C. as the seat of government of the United States. July 22, 1790, Indian Intercourse Act of 1790, ch. 
33, 1 Stat, 137, regulated commerce with the Indian tribes. August 4, 1790, Funding Act of 1790, ch. 34, 1 Stat, 138, authorized the full assumption of state debts by the federal government. August 4, 1790, Collection of Duties Act, ch.35, 1 Stat, 145, among its provisions is Sec. 62, 1 Stat, 175, authorizing establishment of the Revenue Marine, since 1915 the United States Coast Guard. August 10, 1790, Tariff of 1790, ch. 39, 1 Stat. 180. Session 3 Held December 6, 1790, through March 3, 1791, at Congress Hall in Philadelphia February 25, 1791, First Bank of the United States, ch. 10, 1 Stat. 191 March 3, 1791, Whiskey Act, ch. 15, 1 Stat. 199, which triggered the Whiskey Rebellion. Constitutional amendments September 25, 1789, approved twelve amendments to the United States Constitution establishing specific guarantees of personal freedoms and rights, clear limitations on government power, and submitted them to the state legislatures for ratification. 1 Stat. 97 Article 1 has not been ratified and is still pending before the states. Article 2 was much later ratified on May 7, 1992, as the 27th Amendment. Articles 3 through 12, known as the Bill of Rights, were later ratified on December 15, 1791. <laughs> States ratifying Constitution November 21, 1789, North Carolina became the 12th state to ratify the U.S. Constitution and thereby joined the Union. May 29, 1790, Rhode Island became the 13th state to ratify the U.S. Constitution and thereby joined the Union. Territories organized May 26, 1790, territory south of the River Ohio organized from land ceded by North Carolina. Party summary There were no political parties in this Congress. Members are informally grouped into factions of similar interest, based on an analysis of their voting record. Details on changes are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. Senate During this Congress, two Senate seats were added for North Carolina and Rhode Island when each ratified the Constitution. House of Representatives During this Congress, five House seats were added for North Carolina and one House seat was added for Rhode Island when they ratified the Constitution. Leadership Senate President, John Adams, P. President pro tempore, John Langdon, P. House of Representatives Speaker, Frederick Mullenberg, P. Topic Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed by class, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Topic Senate 
Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, all Senators were newly elected, and Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1790, Class II meant their term ended with the next Congress, requiring re-election in 1792, and Class III meant their term lasted through the next two Congresses, requiring re-election in 1794. House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are listed by their districts. <laughs> Changes in membership There were no political parties in this Congress. Members are informally grouped into factions of similar interest, based on an analysis of their voting record. New York, North Carolina, and Rhode Island, were the last states to ratify the U.S. Constitution, and because of their late ratification, were unable to send full representation at the beginning of this Congress. Six senators and nine representatives were subsequently seated from these states during the sessions as noted. Senate. There was one resignation, one death, one replacement of a temporary appointee, and six new seats. The anti-administration senators picked up a one-seat net gain and the pro-administration senators picked up four seats. <laughs> House of Representatives There was two resignations, one death, and six new seats. Anti-administration members picked up three seats and pro-administration members picked up two seats. Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders Senate Whole House of Representatives Elections Rules Select Ways and Means Whole Topic Joint Committees Enrolled Bills Topic Employees Topic Senate Secretary Samuel A. Otis, elected April 8, 1789. Doorkeeper James Mathers, elected April 7, 1789. Chaplain Samuel Provost, Episcopalian, elected April 25, 1789. William White, Episcopalian, elected December 9, 1790. House of Representatives Clerk, John J. Beckley Sergeant-at-Arms, Joseph Wheaton Doorkeeper, Gifford Daly Chaplain William Lynn, Presbyterian, elected May 1, 1789 Samuel Blair, Presbyterian, elected January 4, 1790 Reading Clerks, John Beckley See also United States elections, 1789 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1788–89 United States Senate elections, 1788 and 1789 United States House of Representatives elections, 1788 and 1789 United States elections, 1790 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1790 and 1791 United States House of Representatives elections, 1790 and 1791